Hello everyone, now in this video, I will let you know how you can control 4 appliances using generic ESP8266 module. Yes, not 2 but 4 appliances and this time, I made the hardware in such a way that you can even control it manually using your smartphone and also with Google Assistant. So let's get started. For making this project, you'll require these all components. I bought most of the components required for this project from lcsc.com. I will attach the links for all in the description of this video so you can click and buy it directly from LCSC. Now the connections of all the components is something like this. To make this project simple, we designed the PCB for it on easyedia.com. This time we made it in 6 layers to make this project way more compact. Then gave its order to JLCPCB directly. You just need to upload the Gerber file and the smart software automatically detects the number of layers. Now just select the masking color and place your order. You will be receiving these amazing PCBs at your doorstep. So try out JLCPCB once to make your projects look neat and more compact. After shouldering the components on the PCB, the project looks something like this. Compact and well arranged. Now if you want the exact same PCB which I am using, then we are giving away free PCBs with every Techie SMS merchandise order. Just so select the project name under the PCB section and you will be getting the PCB absolutely free. Link for merchandise page is in the description. Now let's jump to the coding. So this is the code for our project. In this code, you need to make very little changes. First of all, give your router's SID name and password so that our project can talk to internet. Then here, you need to provide one token number for your ubidots account. So let's first configure our ubidots account. So go to ubidots.com and make an account here. Now click on devices and devices again. Then click on this create device button. Select blank here and your device name as ESP-01. Now click on create button. So you successfully created the device. Now go inside this device. Here we will add some variables. So click on this add variable button. Select raw and give it a name as R1. So similarly we will create four different variables and will give them the name from R1 to R4. After successfully creating the variables, just click on this ubidots logo which will open the home page. Here click on add new dashboard, then click on this green button. Now here click add new widget, select switch, click on add variable. Now go inside ESP01 and select R1. Now here. Write off message as 0 and on message as 1. In the end, give the button name as relay1. This will create an on off switch for R1 variable. Similarly, we will create 4 switches for different variables. This is all you need to do on your ubidot server. Now we have to enter the token in the code and for that, click here and select the API credentials. Now click here to copy your account token. Go back to your code and paste that token here. That's it. This is what you need to change in the code. Rest of all the things will remain the same until and unless you don't select any other name for devices and variable. Now further, the relay pins are defined here in the code and rest of the code is for receiving the data from the MQTT broker and giving command to relays according to the data received. Now let's select our generic ESP board and click on this upload button. Now if you haven't used generic ESP board before and don't know how to program it using Arduino then kindly watch out this video in which I have explained how to program ESP using Arduino and how to make your own shield for it. Coming back to the video, now the code is successfully uploaded. Let's insert the ESP in the PCB. Now I will be installing this project in one of my switchboard at my studio. I open the switchboard first. I would like to give warning to switch off the mains before handling these wires, just to be on a safer side. 
After that, I removed the switches and connection from the board. As for this project, I'll require a two-way switch. A two-way switch is the one which you must be having at your stairs, using which we can turn on and off the light from any of the two switches. That same concept of stair lightning is applied in this project. Here is the diagram for stairs lightning using a two-way switch. From this, just remove one switch and add a relay here, as the relay itself is a two-way switch. Using this connection, we can turn on and off our appliances using internet via relay as well as by using manual switches. So I bought these two-way switches and inserted them on the switchboard. After that, I did the connection of the appliances, relay and the switches according to this diagram. Now after all this connection, I just fitted the switchboard as it is and placed our project just above it using the double-sided tape. Let's power up the mains and see this project in action. As you can see, I am successfully able to control appliances using smartphone. Let's try out with switches. So it's also working perfectly with the switches as well. Not only that, we can even control it with Google Assistant or Alexa. Okay Google, turn on studio lights. Just watch out my this video in which I have explained how to configure UbiDots with Google Assistant and Alexa via IFTTT. So this is what a complete home automation project looks, which has multiple ways to interact with the appliances. Click on the like button right now if you loved this concept and the video. Make sure you comment down below your reviews and feedbacks regarding this project, which will motivate us to do more such innovative projects. And in this video here, subscribe my channel to see more such amazing project tutorials. Other than projects, I also used to upload some getting started videos on electronic components or products, some explained videos on different technology and sensors, and some short but useful tips and tricks. So just wait for my next video and explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.